Hey there, I hope you are ready to get strong today because we have a workout that is going to work the upper body, the lower body, and the abs. So grab your dumbbells and your mat. For my dumbbells, just to give you a range today, I'm gonna use probably my 10, 15, and 20 pound dumbbells as well as one heavy dumbbell because we have some sumo squats and some sumo Romanian deadlifts. So for that, I'll probably go maybe 40, 45 pounds for that. But with that said, we're gonna get right into our warm up, and then we're gonna get into this workout. If you'd like to start your watch, you can do that now as well. And let's start just with opening and closing. Now when we open and close, take your palms up as you pull away and then down towards the ground as you bring it back in, alternating one arm on top of the other. Breathing, just a quick warm up to make sure we hit all these major muscle groups, the joints, so that we can go all in when we get this started. Three more, here's three, here's two, and one. Now we're gonna take big arm circles, one arm at a time here. Breathing, keeping that chest up. Three more, then we'll just switch sides. And one, take it back, other side. Good, really get that shoulder stretched out. Three more, here's two. And one, from here we're gonna take our arms together and we're gonna open and close. So open, stretch the chest open and close back up. Squeezing the back as you open up. Keep about a 90 degree bend in your elbows. Good, three more, then we'll bring our hands to our hips. And one, hands to your hips. Widen your stance, feet about shoulder width or just a little bit wider for good morning. So from here, drive those hips back, squeeze, push the hips forward. And squeeze. Exhale as you come up here. Four more, four. We're gonna keep a wider stance and go into sumo squat, nice and slow. Last one, so widen the stance, toes turned out, nice and slow. We're gonna go down and up. Reach the hands up nice and tall. Down. Good, take your time in this. Three more. We're gonna hold it down in two. Last one, hold it down here. Hands right above your knees, press, twist that shoulder, drop one shoulder towards the ground, hold it, and then switch it up. Working through this a few times. Good, one more each side. From here, back to center, bring it up nice and slow. Let's wrist circle it. Wrist circle it, is that? We're gonna say that. Wrist circle it forward here, then we'll take backwards wrist circles, and then we're gonna be ready to get right into our workout. So first workout for this, first exercise for this workout is going to be a squat with a, an alternating lateral leg lift. So for our, we're gonna go into a suitcase squat, which means we're gonna have our dumbbells right down by our side. We're gonna squat down, lifting one leg, alternating it to the other side. So make sure you've got your heavy dumbbells and let's do this. Shoulders roll down and back. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're working one leg, then the other. Really think about squeezing the glutes as you lift that leg. Don't rush through this. Make sure you're getting full range of motion for your squat. Nice job. 15 seconds, then we're gonna repeat this exercise once more through. So we get two chances today. So decide now if you need to go up in weight for this next round. Good, here's three, two, and one. Ooh, breathing, shake it out, grab a drink, dry off if you need to. By the last 
10, seven to 10 seconds, that's where you decide if you can go up in weight or maybe you need to go down. But grab your dumbbells, we're getting ready to go again. We've got just about 10 seconds. So in your squat as well, make sure your chest is staying up. Don't let your chest fall forward. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Let's begin. This is not only challenging the big muscle groups, this is also challenging our stabilizer muscles as we come up on one leg here. Good, and squeeze. Whew. Next exercise, we're gonna work the upper body. We are gonna do a rear delt fly. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and wait. We'll have 30 seconds to do what we need to. We've got three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, so rear delt fly. We're gonna be working the back. So make sure you get a challenging weight, but something that's doable for you. 20 seconds. And when you do that rear delt fly, keep your chest and abs parallel to the floor. Think about squeezing your shoulder blades around your spine. So let's get ready to get into position. We've got just about five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Exhale as you squeeze shoulder blades around spine. Good, and you've got a slight bend in the elbow as well. Come on, you're close, keep going. Think about the weight right now for that next set. Can you go up, do you need to go down? Or are you gonna stay right where you're at? Challenge yourself, this is your time. Here's three, two, one. Whoa. 30 seconds, rest it out. All right, 20 seconds, we go again. Shake it out, if you can go up, grab your dumbbells for that. The point with the strength workouts is to really challenge yourself all the way through that working timer. And the last few reps should be very challenging. So keep that in mind when you are picking your weight. But we've gotta go again. We've got three seconds. Here's two, and let's go. Last time for this exercise. Good, keep a slight bend in the knee as well. Over halfway. All right, so we're gonna move it back to the lower body with this next exercise. We're gonna do a sumo squat, but we've got a little added push because we are gonna hold the sumo squat for three seconds at the bottom. So this is where I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell. We've got three seconds here, two and one. Nice job. All right, so think about that sumo squat now. You can use one or two dumbbells. If you use two, you can keep those dumbbells right at the top of your legs, right around where your hips meet, or I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell right in the center. But again, we're holding it down at the bottom. Whew. For that three second count. So get into position, toes out, wide stance. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Press it up. Squeeze. Work at your own pace here. So you count your three, hold down. And if you find that three hold down is just too challenging for now, as you build up your strength, just work that regular sumo squat. And exhale as you press back up. Oh. 
Ooh, that little extra three seconds. That's a pretty big deal. Whew, almost there, five seconds. Here's three, two, ooh, and one. Nice job, quick break, grab a drink, dry off if you need to. Getting ready to go in just about 20 seconds. All right, 15 seconds. Let's get ready to go again so we don't miss one second of work here. All right, five seconds, shoulders roll down and back, chest stays up, weight is in the heels. We've got three, two, and here we go. Hold it for three. And again, work at your own pace. So count your three at the bottom or work straight through with that sumo squat. Whatever variation you wanna take. As long as you're challenging yourself, it does not matter where you're working. We're getting close, we're getting close. Moving back to the upper body with a close grip shoulder press. So that's what we've got coming next. But we're almost there here. Good, last three, two, oh, and one. Awesome job. Close grip shoulder press now, so get your weights. Ooh, this is, okay. 10 seconds, now remember we get two chances. So pay close attention when you get to the end of this set if you need to go up, down, or stay the same here. All right, we've got to go in three, two, here we go. So the close grip, the palms are facing you, or facing each other, I should say. But work at your own tempo, exhale as you press up. Make sure you've got that full range of motion. You're all the way down to all the way up. All right, check it out right now. How does this weight feel? Five seconds, three, two, and one. Nice job. 30 seconds to rest, shake it out, grab a drink. Oh, if you need to dry off, go for that. Once more through, going in 20. I told you, we're working the upper, the lower, and the abs are coming soon. All right, let's get ready to go. We've got less than 10 on the rest timer. Here's three, two, and one. Keep in mind when you're doing your shoulder press, don't shrug your ears up to your shoulders. You still want to keep your upper body nice and relaxed. Your shoulders are working though, but keep them relaxed and wrist straight. So think about punching up towards the ceiling. Almost there. We're gonna stick with upper body. We're gonna do bicep curls next. We're gonna alternate between a regular bicep and a wide bicep curl. Oh, but we're almost here. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay. All right, so for this bicep curl, as we alternate between the regular bicep curl, we're just going to angle our arms out slightly for the wide bicep curl. Same thing though, you always wanna make sure that arms are staying close to your body and don't let your arm raise up away from your body. Keep it close. So that's gonna help us target those biceps big time. So grab your dumbbells. We're going in three seconds. Here's two and one. Starting regular bicep, squeeze, take it back down, angle the arms out and keep it wide. So take your time, make sure you're getting that full range so you're extending all the way down. 
then rotating, then squeezing again. It's not about the quantity of reps that you're getting in each set, it's about the quality. So really take your time, work through it. You may be going slower, you may be going faster than me, which is fine, as long as you are working your form and full range of motion. Almost there, we get one more chance with this. If you can go up and wait, let's go for it. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. I'm gonna try to go up a little bit. Twenty seconds and we go. Breathing. After this, you have made it halfway through this strength session, and you are rocking it so far. So make sure this last half you make it just as strong as the first half, and you are going heavy. So we get a nice slight bend in the, the knees. We're getting ready to go in three. Here's two and one. Alternating again between the regular curl, opening up just a bit to a wide position. Whew. Awesome job, over halfway. Come on, keep it strong. Nice job, almost there. Sumo Romanian deadlift is next, so we're gonna move it back to the lower body. We've got three, two, and one. Oh, amazing, amazing job. All right, so for Sumo Romanian deadlift, you can use one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna go back to using one. I like to take um, a forward and a, um, or an, uh, like a, one arm is forward, one arm is back when I'm holding onto one dumbbell for my sumo RDL. But do this however you're comfortable. Shoulders rolled down and back, and let's begin. Nice and slow, weight is in the heels. We're in sumo position, I'm over here in regular. <laughs> so make sure those feet are out wide, taking it down nice and slow. Squeeze, push the hips forward. <sighs> Almost there. Come on, just about 10 seconds left. <sighs> Time for one more. Good, here's three, two, and one. Ooh, nice job. Take your quick 30 seconds. Perfect time to grab a drink and dry off. We're going into that once more. Breathing, all right, 10 seconds. So let's get right back into it. So sumo position, toes are out at an angle here, wide stance. Grabbing your dumbbell. Three, two, and here we go. Take it down nice and slow. Good, keep that back flat. So think about bringing it, your chest parallel to the floor. Good. Oh, halfway. Keep your focus. When it gets tough, you gotta get, get your mind here. Don't let it wander. <sighs> Couple more reps. We're gonna move it down to the mat next. <sighs> Good. We've got three seconds. Here's two and one. Nice job. All right, so bringing it down to the mat, you actually do not need any dumbbells for our next exercise. However, after this exercise, we are going to do chest flies. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells for that so I have them nearby. And bringing it onto the mat now for this glute bridge walkout. 
rolling it onto your back. Well, this is gonna be interesting with the, <laughs> with the dog. Lift it up into the glute bridge. We're gonna walk it out, out, back in, and in. Now alternate sides. So if you just led with your right leg out and in, you're gonna lead with the left leg out, out, back in, in, good. Move at your own pace. The farther you walk those legs out, the more challenging this will be. So you can um, take a smaller step out and back in, or you can take that wider and really feel the burn in the hamstrings. And you can see that you don't need weight with this one and it still works like a charm. <gasps> We're almost there. Good, last three, two, and one. Carefully bring it, bring it down. You can tuck your legs in if you need to do a little stretch here. So hugging the legs in. <laughs> I am all over the mat right now. Excuse me, Nacho. <laughs> we'll just slide him over. All right, roll it back because we've got to go again here. Hips are up. We go in three, two, and one. So march it out. And in, in. Remember, alternate sides. So if you just led with your right leg out and in, you're gonna lead with that left leg. Think about squeezing the glutes the entire time. Don't let your hips sag down. So try to keep those hips at the same point as you're walking out and out. So you don't want them to drop down. <sighs> Breathing, nice job. <sighs> So close, we're gonna switch it back to upper body next. So the lower body will get a nice little break. Almost, here's three, two, and one. Bring it down, getting ready for chest flies. So we will stay right here on the mat. For the chest flies though, go heavy. Think about, we're really gonna be working the chest muscles. So as you pull those arms back in, Think about a little egg underneath your arm and you're trying to crack that egg. That's gonna help you emphasize so much, work those chest muscles even more. So grab your dumbbells, roll it back. We've got five seconds. Here's three, two, and let's chest fly. Open it up, take it nice and slow all the way and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and bring it in. Exhale as those weights come back to that center point. So check in right now with the dumbbell weight that you have picked. Make any adjustments you need during our rest, which is coming up very soon. goodness there's two and one. Oh. All right one more time for that you can carefully set your dumbbells down you can open up your chest if you need to stretch it out for a second in between and we'll get ready to go again timers going by quick we've got 15 seconds so bring those arms up breathing all right here we go five seconds three two and let's begin. After this, we're gonna finish out with abs. Come on, really squeeze, really press. Hear yourself right here, exhale as you press that weight up. So really breathe out. Up next, we're gonna do a marching clap crunch. So it sounds like a mouthful, but don't worry. It'll be simple. We've got three, two, one. I shouldn't say it'll be simple. 
it's going to make the abs burn. But <laughs> the name makes it sound more complicated. All right, so we'll get the dumbbells out of the way. And so for this marching um, crunch, if you start to feel it in your neck, you're just gonna bring your hands behind your head and you can add the feet as you march out. Well, we're gonna go, we've got five seconds, so get those hands ready to clap and let's begin. Here we go. Exhale with the crunch, get the shoulder blades up. So really sit it up here. And to really activate those ab muscles, you want to think about minimizing the space between your rib cage and your hip bones. So really sit it up, crunch it out. And again, if you feel it in your neck, bring those hands behind and march those legs out. Good, get it up. Here's three, two, one. Okay, stretch it out. We're still working two times through with the abs. So we've got one more time with that. Breathing. Oh, okay. Rolling it back. Going in less than 15. All right, here we go in five. Here's three, two, and let's begin. Good, exhale with the crunch, don't forget that. Don't forget, get those shoulder blades up. All little reminders to help you maximize all the way through this 50 seconds of work. And I know 50 seconds is a long time for ab work. So if you ever need to take the modification to make sure your form is staying, get those hands behind, you can just do the crunch. But we've got 10. Whew. Next exercise is going to be a reverse crunch in three, in two, and one. Stretch it out, 30 seconds. It's gonna go by quick. So you can sit it up, you can stretch it out, you can have a drink. Breathing. All right, let's roll it back. We've got just about 10 seconds. So for the reverse crunch, hands are gonna be right next to your bum, not underneath your bum, but right next to it. So you can press into the floor with the palms of your hands. Getting ready to go, and let's begin. Now you can tap the heels on the ground or you can just do that crunch and bring your feet back to that neutral starting position here. If you are letting your heels come down to the mat, make sure that lower back is pressed into the mat the entire time. If you find your low back is starting to arch, you're just gonna stop your feet right here and then bring it back up. Come on, over halfway, keep it strong. Exhale when those hips come up. Ooh. Abs are on fire. Here's three, here's two, and one. Ooh, rest it out 30 seconds. Once more for that. And then we've just got one one minute challenge to finish this workout out. Finish it out strong. You are rocking it, oh my word. It all feels really jello-y right now. I'm not sure if you're feeling the same way, but oh my goodness. All right, 10 seconds and we go. Breathing, remember, keep your form, focus on that. Take whatever level, whatever modification you might need to keep that form. We've got three, two, and let's crunch it out. Reverse crunch it out, that is. Press those hands into the mat right next to your bum. That'll give you a little extra leverage there to really lift and crunch those hips. And remember, if you're lowering those legs, keep that low back pressed into the mat. Okay. 
So right from this 10 seconds, we are going to flip it right on over. No rest, no rest, and we're gonna go into a minute plank. You've got three, two, and one. Flip it right over, minute plank. Let's get into it and hold it. If you need to take that plank on your knees, do that. Just tuck those arms in. So think about squeezing, bringing those elbows together. Let me face this way so you can see. So you don't want your arms out here. You wanna tuck them in. And we're in holding plank. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Shoulders, elbows, wrists in line. And you are halfway. Come on, keep it strong. Think about squeezing your belly button into your spine. Pushing those heels to the wall behind you. And breathing. Whew. Burning it out right to the very end. Breathing. Good, you've got five, four, three, two. Oh, and you made it. If you didn't know it already, you are the absolute bomb.com and you're rocked it. Do not forget to get a stretch. We have a brand new stretch out for you. So go enjoy that stretch. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening. Thank you for joining me and I love ya.